So welcome friends to another brand new episode of Building Blocks. Today I have with me Mr. Sunil from Win Engineering and this is the second time uh, you yeah. are here. Thank you sir Thank for you coming. And today our idea is to focus on more on the construction side, uh, how construction for different kinds of projects work uh, as far as new development is concerned in here Greater Toronto Area. How do construction contracts work and what one should look in a contractor before deciding? Yeah, so before uh, you go with any contractor, mm -hmm. uh, it's always a good idea that you have an approved plan. Okay. So you can hand over the approved plan to the contractor mm -hmm. and also tell them to visit the site. So at least, you know, if you have any discrepancy in the drawings or on site, mm -hmm. he can come and understand that one. Mm -hmm. Then after his site visit, you know, always try to take a couple of quotes and always try to check his references that how he's working in the market mm -hmm. and then try to make the construction contract. Uh, there is so many standard construction contracts available. Mm -hmm. So always sign the construction contract and uh, make sure the contractor is WSIB and insurance. He has the insurance with a licensed contractor. So on the road, if something happened, mm -hmm. uh, you you are covered with okay. any any incident. Right. Okay. So it's always a good idea to hire a WSIB insured and reference contractor. Okay. And it was always a good idea to give him the approved drawings and okay. site visit. So you would you be able to elaborate some steps which are leading to the construction, the final construction, how it evolves? Yeah, so it's an interesting question. And even I can speak uh, two hours for that, <laughs> but I would like to explain in a very brief. Right. So once you hand over the construction contract, mm -hmm. uh, there are some uh, procedure that means uh, it's different for the different projects, okay. for the basement, different renovations, restaurants, custom house, everywhere construction work in different way. Suppose if I'm giving you example at a high level for a custom house or restaurant, for the custom house, uh, there are some steps that uh, uh, always if you are mm, going uh, with any contractor, mm -hmm. contractor is an insurance, mm -hmm. but you have to also, if you are handing over them the contract, you have to also buy one insurance from your side. Okay. So always that is called the builder risk, always buy that insurance. So okay. you, Suppose uh, anything happen on the side during the construction, mm -hmm. contractor will cover your cost mm -hmm. from the insurance company. Mm -hmm. But in the night, nobody is there and if something happened, right. then client insurance company cover that cost. Oh, okay. So basically, uh, first thing is insurance. Then second thing, there are always there are some step, steps that uh, for the custom house, you have to make sure the builder who you are doing the construction is a Tarion registered builder. Okay. Third thing, you have to look on the first... Uh, foundation things mm -hmm. that uh, foundation then uh, all the framing work mm -hmm. roofing work finishing item mm -hmm. so you have to make sure that uh, contractor do everything according to the drawing right uh, contractor call for to city for all the inspection mm -hmm. so city can come and they inspect all the works at different different stages and uh, you have to make sure you have all the dollar value for your all finishing item in the contract. Mm -hmm. So you can select whatever you like that for the tile, hardwood, doors, mm -hmm. kitchen, mm -hmm. paint, mm -hmm. everything you can select. So you have to select all the items at the different stage. You have to make sure that uh, once the framing and roofing done, the contractor put right away singles. So it don't damage anything to your uh, roofing plywood or anything. Uh, also contractor, make sure that contractor use appropriate material, whatever in the drawing, like for the insulation, especially for insulation and uh, HVAC plumbing, electric roofing. So he follows drawing. So there are certain items you have to make sure in order to get a good quality work. And uh, is always start from foundation, framing, roofing, door windows, uh, insulation, drywall, hardwood floor, tiling work, and uh, finishing kitchen and painting works. This is the order uh, order of the construction work. 
And is the permit different for demolition or it is the same permit? Uh, no, uh, the, you have to apply for the demolition and the new construction permit, but city always issue the new construction permit and demolition permit together. together. Because if city issue the demolition permit, you demolish the house and if you don't get the uh, new mm -hmm. construction permit, then where you have to go? So, the city always uh, issue the permit at the same time. I see. What are the requirements for inspections during all of this process? Yeah, there is there are mandatory inspections yes. during whole process. So, if you are doing any projects, mm -hmm. there is always a foundation inspection. That means excavation and then concrete wall. It's up to the court. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and then. Uh, there is a framing inspection requirement, then there is a plumbing roughing, HOA roughing, electrical roughing, then insulation vapor barrier, uh, then uh, final inspection and uh, exterior safety inspection, grading inspection and occupancy inspection. So, and suppose let's consider HVAC inspection or a, yeah. you know, electrical inspection, if they find something, they come again? Yeah, so, they will give you the deficiency list. Okay. So, they will say it is not passed, you have to fix all these things. Mm -hmm. So, they give you the list. You have to make sure you fix that list and you call again for the inspection and uh, the inspector will come again and he will check and then he will close the inspection. So, you can see in all cities generally you can see online that okay. your inspection is closed Steps. or not. Okay. So, once the inspection closed, then you can do the further procedures. That means you can go the further steps. Okay. Right? Without insulation and vapor inspection, you cannot put the drywall, something like that. Yeah. And what are these parties who are responsible for the inspection? Is it is city? Uh, inspection generally contractor is responsible for all the inspections. So, the contractor will take, should take care contractor to has to, yeah, he has to coordinate things. with the city. He has to call the city in advance. And he has to make sure he is on site when the city inspector comes okay. and he can get all the informations or deficiency list from the city mm -hmm. and he can resolve it. As a consumer or as a person who is trying to get something built, it could be a custom house for example, what we discussed, what a consumer can do before the inspection. Suppose there is an inspection tomorrow for mm -hmm. framing, uh, so what a consumer should do? Uh, consumer has to make sure with the contractor that okay, okay well, you already call for the inspection then uh, when the inspector comes can you share the report they can ask that, can you share the report that what is the deficiency even consumer wants that okay you know I want to make sure one extra step mm -hmm. he can call uh, any professional engineer mm -hmm. and uh, also get the inspection done from him mm -hmm. so they have a uh, two reports one from the city one from the professional engineer, so they make sure that they they are safe and everything is uh, done according to. What is the construction ballpark, uh, sir Sunil sir? Like, I mean to say that is there some thumb rule or something easy? We can talk one by one for restaurant or office construction, commercial or we or the custom home. Like, if someone wants to budget for their yeah. aspiration, if I can give you some average idea. Uh, that means, you know, not uh, very high end material, not the very low end material, but I can give you some average idea. Suppose any office, somebody is doing the office renovation, right. uh, they are looking at $120 per square foot number, $120 okay. to $130. But you know, somebody want to change the design that he want to put uh, extra molding work, extra glass work, uh, dec more decorative ceiling, then there is always extra. Mm -hmm. So, whatever I am talking about is a general thing, average. Uh, role, yeah, average cost. Uh, same way for the custom house, uh, you guys, we guys are looking around three hundred twenty-five dollar per square feet nowadays. Right. Three hundred twenty-five to three hundred fifty square feet. Okay, so, average. Yeah, average cost, uh, which doesn't include basement. Obviously, okay. it's a first floor and second floor. Okay, yeah. makes sense. Uh, regarding uh, basement, uh, right now people are doing in around seventy dollar per square feet okay. for the legal basement. Uh, regarding restaurant, people are looking around two hundred. To two hundred fifty dollar per square feet, okay. which includes your uh, e equipment, wood, everything. So it's two hundred fifty dollar per square feet. Mm -hmm. uh, but it also depend on how many equipments you have. This is just average cost. But right. you have a lot of equipment, then it cost go up to three hundred dollar per square feet. Yeah. Right. So everything is based on design, yeah. specification, and material. Right. But uh, generally, this is the average cost for basement 
or custom house or restaurant or offices renovation uh, there is a wide range you can do in 80 dollar per square feet you can do in 200 dollar per square feet depends on what you want to do uh, what material you would like to install so everything is depend on your selection so one other related thing sir so sometimes there are requirements where our client there is a standard two story home yeah where yeah. Uh, there is one bath full bath upstairs mm -hmm. and uh, powder in the main level Mm -hmm. Sometimes client would want to make another additional bath, full bath upstairs. Yeah, yeah. There is scope. The bedrooms are big. So how much? Would yeah, that that's a good question. So many people are calling us for that. So basically, you know, uh, to add one washroom on the second floor. Yeah. Still, it's depend on how much you have to run your uh, new plumbing pipe. How much uh, you have to do the demolition. Right. Uh, how much you have to fixing after the uh, washroom done. But generally. Uh, to make one in suit, this costs you around $25,000 nowadays. Okay. And I also see that range woods are also of different sizes. Yeah, right? it's came from 9 feet to uh, 15 feet, 14 feet, whatever is uh, your gas equipment. Suppose you have a 3 or 4 gas equipment, you are okay with 9 feet, but you have a more equipment, so you have to go to 14 feet or 15 feet. And the permits are separate or they are part of the commercial permit? Uh, permit is always separate, is always covered the engineer, uh, under the engineering. Okay. So, uh, any professional engineer or architect can take permit for you and that's the separate cost. Yeah. And that we discussed last time that is always around, you know, $6, $7 per square feet for the designing and permit. Okay. So, okay. All together designing yeah, and the, permit. Yeah, for the restaurants. Okay. Is there any other thing which I missed and you want to highlight? Sir? Uh, just, you know, uh, uh, contracting is a very challenging thing, you know. So, you have to make sure that whoever is doing the work, mm -hmm. is comp uh, he has a lot of experience. Uh, he is WSIB, mm -hmm. he is insured and uh, you can check his references before you give hand over to any work. So, sometimes, you know, uh, we found so many times that people are trying to save their $5,000, $10,000 mm -hmm. and they're stuck. Right. It happens in so many cases. So sometimes, you know, if you are doing two hundred, three hundred thousand dollar works, the so ten thousand is not more important than you stuck uh, once you paid him a fifty, sixty thousand dollar. Got you. Right. Yeah. And you know, once uh, somebody start the works, then it's very difficult to uh, give it to someone. Yeah, else. you have to. It's very difficult to cancel the contract. You have to hire a new contractor. It's always expensive, challenging, yeah. headache. Yeah. Great. Yeah. And for the payment plan, like, so it should be staggered payment and oh, one payment should be? Yeah, 100% it should be like that. Always, you know, when you sign the contract, uh -huh. always try to put the payment in five, six parts. Stages. Yeah, stages. So basically, you always keep at least uh, 10 to 15% end of the completion and finishing. Makes sense. Yeah. So that's why, that's why, you know, you are covered. So if something happens, uh, you can compensate that things. Right. Okay. So thank you so much, Sunil sir, for your time. Thank you totally very much. Appreciate it. Yeah, thanks. And thanks to all of you for your time today. And I will try to see you in our next episode of Building Blocks. Till then, stay positive and take care.